amazing guest tonight in Brian. You may know him as Cure for the Common Game and also Fitz. I'm very, very excited um, to, to kind of just, we're gonna, so we're going to jump right into it, uh, get into the deck intros. And Brian, it looks like you have taken Seth's place and have cheated to go first. You've cheated the algorithm. So yeah. one, teach us how you did that. I need to learn because I'm bad at it. Two, <laughs> what are you playing tonight? I'm playing Lubu, Master at Arms, one of the epic legends from Portal 3 Kingdoms. Not overcosted at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Lubu! Portal 3 Kingdoms right. was printed so much and all the cards are affordable. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, awesome. And then, real quick, too, while we're, you know, while you're, where, where can everybody find you? At? I, you can find me on YouTube, Cure for the Common Game. I am building a commander deck from every legend uh, ever. I don't take them apart. I am currently sitting around seven hundred and forty decks, and uh, I'm on. <laughs> I have I have five, and it feels like a lot for me. <laughs> but that's where you can find me at. Yes, and to be honest, if I didn't already like know about you, didn't already follow the channel and everything, I'd probably hear that and be like, you're just messing around. Like He's being sarcastic. No, he's being serious. <laughs> if you haven't already seen his stuff, definitely check it out. It is amazing. Um, and then Kyle, looks like you have gotten to go second with all with the Gods of Chaos, and you have some things in the uh, air. I do. So I've got Sengir the Dark Baron and Krom Loot of Ex Opus. Uh, last week, I played... Uh, Vile Smasher Crom, and I like the deck, but Vile Smasher is powerful and overtly powerful, and I wanted to go to the skies. So uh, my friend Andrew Magrini built a Grixis Flyers deck with Crom and Vile Smasher, and I liked his concept so much that I tore down my own deck and built this. So everything in the deck except for Stormtide Leviathan flies. <laughs> And Stormdine Leviathan makes it so you can't attack unless you're flying, so I think that counts. <laughs> 100% counts. I'm very excited. Um, I'm also ill-prepared. I don't run flyers in, like, any deck, which is just a theme that I've realized I die to a lot. So this is, like, the perfect deck to kill me first, Kyle. I know that's what you preach a lot, to murder me first, which is usually the right decision. Um, it's usually the right choice. Almost always, but this is the perfect deck to do it with. <laughs> All right. And then um, I'm going to be playing Buggy Man number three. So I do always play the Locust God and the Scarab God. I now have a Scorpion God deck. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to throw minus one counters on things and draw some cards. Is there Infect in here? Probably. Yeah. Kyle, will I try to Infect you out? Most likely. Um, yeah. I understand. <laughs> so I'm excited to see if it works. I literally built this earlier today with stuff I had in my binders and such. So we'll, we'll see how it goes down. Uh, and then Fitz, what do you got going on over there? I see a, one, a, just a beautiful promo sitting on your board. Yeah, uh, I'm playing my Nicobolas deck. It's a, a Nicobolas theme deck where every card except for a couple is themed around him, and I had those altered to have uh, Bolas on the card. So I want to play powerful Grixis stuff and probably would try and win with Torment of Hailfire. So, you know, normally I'm not a fan of Torment, and this deck is so flavorful, I welcome it. I'm, I will welcome it with open arms and low life total. Um <laughs> <laughs> and then uh kyle aaron in the chat or aaron, yeah and kyle i think you've played with aaron before too i know he's been on aaron thanks for hanging out he yeah. said he has mucho respect for the grixis flyers oh thank you hey uh before we get started fitz where can we find you yes uh, you, you can find me here on twitch.tv slash aota mtg where i stream every sunday magic the gathering games much like we're about to have today and uh, i'll be i'll be streaming tomorrow at 3 p.m pacific where I have uh, Zach Taylor and Justin from Commander Hideaway joining me with my friend Kelly, probably. That's awesome. Can confirm. It's his channel. Good time. <laughs> and I uh, can find me on Twitter at Mr. Fitzy Fitz, where I tweet about Commander a lot. <laughs> I love that handle. And, it is uh, wonderful. <laughs> it is a wonderful. It's one of those like phrases you can't say without smiling a little bit, Mr. Fitzy Fitz. And I, I share pictures of my very Aww. very cute cat Baloney. <laughs> So, at the very least, you want to follow for the baloney cam. <laughs> See, and that's a cat that doesn't try to kill you, Derek. Yeah, I don't know what that's like. No. I, I, I don't know what that's like. <laughs> All right, so we can kick things off, Brian. You can get us started. Does everybody have a keepable seven? I guess that's a good question. Uh, I do. Not really, but I'm going to keep it anyway. Okay, that counts. <laughs> uh, I, 
I've got a lance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and draw. And, um, I'll do some looting. Hey. Maybe I'll draw some more lands. Faithlessly loot. Of course I did not draw any more lands. Now I have to discard. We'll discard the staff and the rune chanter spike. Pass turn. Draw. Never lucky. Uh, training center. Pass the turn. Ooh, that's a good card. I will draw. Ooh, that is a that is a good top deck. I'm gonna play an ancient tomb. And then I'm gonna tap the ancient tomb, taking two damage to play out a plague mirror. That will pass. Dirty work for us. I will draw for turn. I will play a morphic pool and pass the turn. Untap. Whoa, Aaron's right. There is no green or white in our pod. Oh, a greenless commander pod is very rare. This is. That is oh. I will play a guardian idol. Oh, comes in play tapped. And okay. I will be done. All right. Draw. Still never lucky. <laughs> play land number two. And we will foretell this card. Ooh. I'll pass. The prophecy is foretold. Draw. See, one of the benefits of the foretell cards now is there were so many cards printed this last year that yeah. I know, I know me personally, I don't remember <laughs> I don't any of the foretell are. cards. So it's a genuine <laughs> mystery. I know Doomscar, but that's a white one. So I don't think it's Doomscar. It's not Doomscar. <laughs> I'm going to play a luxury suite as my land for turn. Nice. Um, and then let's go ahead and tap three, hitting myself. Yeah, turn one ancient tomb is great and all, but I'm gonna y'all can just let me kill myself apparently because yeah, two two life. Is... You're on you're on the Dana White approach of just or Dana Roach approach where you're just gonna kill yourself. As, as, <laughs> apparently, yes. That's off to a great start. <laughs> I'm gonna tap three for an everlasting torment. So oh. Players can't gain life, damage can't be prevented, and all damage is dealt as though the source had wither. Cool. Um, and then Kyle, I just want to come just give a little tickle for one. I have been infected. Because you are a little naked right now. I have been infected for one. Bam, and I will pass. I'll drop Good news there. for you, Kyle, is I only have three cards with infect in here, like three creatures, so it'll, it'll take me a while with a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. <laughs> And is it Signet? And I'll pass There you me. go. Hey. Don't tap. Draw. Yeah, Aaron, life's a resource. You know, if you're not if you're not dwindling your own life total, what are you doing? That's why they give you 40. Yeah, you don't want to wait for them to do it. <laughs> just just get in there and kill yourself. We'll play a voltaic key. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah. Past turn. Okay. Draw a card. Uh, play a mountain for the turn. And play a dragon's horde. Ooh. Is that something still, about casting your commander, correct? No. Still so naked. No. Um, it enters the battlefield under my control. Put a, Or a, whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under my control, I put a gold counter on it. Mm. And I can tap it for a mana of any color. Or I could tap it and remove a gold counter to draw a card. Ooh, that is good. I like dragons, and there's a handful in the deck. <laughs> do they do they fly? Is that is that what dragons do? <laughs> uh, I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna untap and draw. Let's go ahead and play a mountain as my land for turn, and then I'm gonna tap for five, uh, taking two more to ancient tomb. And I will bring out the Scorpion God. See, and I think if whenever you play the Scorpion God, if Ronus is on the table, Ronus has to be immediately destroyed. I'm going to use the readable <laughs> version for this game, so it's actually able to tell what's going on. And I will pass. This is tapped as well. I'll draw a turn. I'll play a Dragon Skull Summit, and it's on top because I have a mountain. And I'll cast my commander, Nicobolus the Ravager. When there's the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. Okay. I will discard... Hmm. Rakdos Dark Darksteel Axe. I'm going to discard a Smoldering Marsh. 
I'll pass the turn to Brian. And I will untap. But I do. I, I get Yeah. Well, did you see Aaron's comment? That oh, he's well. saying he's got a he's got to build claim now because it's an it's an artist. Oh yeah, I have that card. Oh yeah. I mean, I think he's just he says he's obligated. I understand. They built a librarian. I probably have to build it. I will pass. What is Kalein? Okay. Let me actually, look at Kalein. It's the the red black thing you know, uh, I I googled Kalein and a city popped up. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. The, yeah. This is the one. But this cares about is this one caring about treasures. Is that what Kalein is? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I do. I think so. That. Reclusive painter. Uh, I'm going to scry two and draw two. Scry two, draw two. Uh, no, I've got to scry this to the bottom. This sucks. Do what's right. You got to make artist tribal, Aaron. You just got to do all the cards that have artists in the art. Uh, I'll play command tower as my land for the turn. And put this in the graveyard where it belongs. I'll play dragon tempest. Dragon. Dragon! <laughs> uh, I'm done. <laughs> that will forever be. So, yo, we were playing with Ken one time, and he played one of the cards where you choose cons or dragons, and he just dropped the card down and he yelled dragon and just acted like, <laughs> didn't say the name of the card, nothing, just dragons. And I'll... <laughs> That's the only way to do it now. <laughs> Untap. I do agree though, Aaron. I wish they did have a Jun because this is actually what my Hapatra deck became. This I just had too many token decks, so I wanted to try something different. But yeah, Jun would be very fun with minus one counters. Evening, EK. Glad you're here to join us. Yo, -ho, EK, what's going on? I'm going to play a mountain. And then. Well, this is a weird spot here. Hmm. Everyone knows what the Dragon Tempest does, right? Gives your creatures haste, it does damage, you open up a dragon, and the dragon enters the battlefield. Yeah, that. <laughs> Most likely, it gives my team haste, and every now and then it'll do a damage or two. Okay, so then what I'll do here is I'm going to move to combat. Let's see here. So the only creature on board right now is just Nickel Bolas, correct? I'm having a hard time seeing what that is on your board, Brian. Sorry. Uh, it is an artifact that I can make into a 2-2 two -two creature, artifact creature. Oh, there. Now it's popping up. Oh, Guardian Idol. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, cool. So then, yeah, I will come over to say hi to Kyle for one infect. And no. I'm going to come. You said hold up? Uh I'll wait till you finish declaring attackers. Okay, cool, cool. And then I will sing, swing the 6-5 over towards Fitz. Uh, yeah. I um, have I have responses. Yes. On your plague mirror? Yes. Let's bloodlust it. Ooh, what's that, what's, what's that do? Plus four, minus four, the toughness cannot go below one. And then let's brute force it. So we're adding seven to the power. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I take eight poison. Yeah, I'm going to nine, nine poison, total. like the way you tether ball. <laughs> I'm, I'm not... steal Ken's favorite phrase. <laughs> I I could deal with you not tether balling that direction. <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting. I thought my stuff was blowing up, and I just woo. I just got a giant plague me. This is wonderful. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna I'm go ahead gonna and uh, pass the turn then. And I took that one on the chin. Quite alright. I'll play small. So for triple black, a red and a blue, I will play Nicobolas Dragon God. Oh, that is yeah. that is a good one. That's the thing about Nicobolas Planeswalkers. They're all good ones. <laughs> that's, that's they are. Good. You make yeah. a good point. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to plus them up so you guys all exile a card from your hand or a permanent you control, and I draw a card. Uh, I will exile this feed the swarm. That Voltaic Key's not doing me that much good. I'm going to exile a... Ugh. A Chaos Warp. As sad as that is. I will pass the turn. Untapping. Drawing. We will go ahead and play the Commander Sphere. Okay. Uh, and I'm done. 
I can't hear the the word Commander Seer anymore without singing the Commander Seer theme song in my head. <laughs> Sometimes I just worry that all my friends will die for this podcast. Hey, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Derek, are you going to kill me? Were you at nine, in fact? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, pretty, uh, let's put it this way. I'm not going to go out of my way, but I would recommend playing a creature. <laughs> like if you're just sitting there naked i mean i feel like i'm obligated to but if you have any defense i mean i'm not really gonna go out of my way to try to infect you on turn like four uh yeah yeah about that you have commanders um, don't you? i i do i do and i like but then i'm just worried like am i a removal spell from dying oh <laughs> You know what? We'll make we'll make a deal here, sir. No, 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 no. no, no we're good. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm I'm gonna hold up a bunch of mana. Okay. And hold up and telling you that you're not gonna be able to kill me and pass the turn. Interesting. Okay. Um, on your end step, I'll go ahead and tap three, uh, and I'll activate the Scorpion God to put a minus one counter on a Nickel Bolus. You gonna let him talk to you like that, Fitz? I can't do much about it, but I'm not, I'm not too concerned. Oh, I don't have, I don't have like nine poison counters or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the opportunity and I had to do it. It was oh, it was so perfect. It was so perfect. I run tainted strike in many decks for the exact same reason, just to wait for someone else to have that opportunity. Yep. I got really excited at first and I was like, oh, he's gonna kill it. <laughs> oh, can't go below one. That's not good. Oh brute force. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and play a mountain as my land for turn. And then I just feel obligated to see if you got it or not. I want you to have it. I don't want to kill you right now, but I feel like it's... <laughs> um, Got to test the waters. Yeah. Let's Okay, let's go ahead then. We'll, we'll, we'll try to do it and see if it happens or not. So... We'll go ahead and go to combat. Scorpion God will come towards Nicol Bolas, the Planeswalker. And then I will come towards Kyle with the 1-1. One, one. I can't see what that is. Let me see. That's oh, terminated. Hey! Okay. I'm act okay, good. I'm actually happy about that. I did not want to kill you yet, but I would have felt like a... I would have felt like a failure to Phyrexia. I think my Phyrexian family <laughs> would have disowned me had I not tried. So. Um, I will block. And let my nickel my nickel will also die. Okay. And game. then die. I'll draw a card. Because a creature with a minus one counter died. And then I will go to second main phase. And pass. Just all that mana, nothing to spend it on, eh? Yeah, I have this is a mostly black deck, and I only have like four mountains in here, and I, I got three of them. You do have <laughs> <laughs> that is that is true. You do have three of them. I have like thirty mountains and I, I uh, yeah. <laughs> How do I? I have more mountains than you do. This is a strange, <laughs> strange thing. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that smoldering marsh. Whatever. I'll play uh, the eldest reborn. Ooh. So each each opponent sacks a creature or a planeswalker. Okay. Yay! In response, okay. um, I'm gonna go ahead and tap a black, and cast a uh, Malakir rebirth. Uh, for the scorpion god, so next time it dies, it returns to the battlefield tapped under my control, and I lose two life. Okay. Bam, so I'll lose two more, and then I'll sack it, and then it comes back tapped. Nice. I'm just realizing, too. I mean, it saved me. I forgot that was a um, MDFC. I could have had black mana a few turns ago. That is a... <laughs> <laughs> that would have been helpful. Okay, sorry. Keep going. I'm going to blow it up with Nicopolis, then. You're going to... I'm going to use this minus three to destroy target creature, Planeswalker, targeting the Scorpion God. Dad, that probably should have paid it. Yeah, that, that, that's the thing. He's very much dead. I'll pass. Return. All right. And then Scorpion God will go back to hand. As he is known to do. Very resilient. Those bugs, hard to keep off, hard to keep out of your house. They yeah. are. They're, they keep coming back. Uh, 
Pass turn. Okay. Goofy. I don't have enough for my four three commander yet. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your volcanic dragon. Yeah. <laughs> four five six. Uh, we're gonna play Sangir the Dark Baron. Hey. Uh, I really want to kill that nickel boss, but let's be honest, Derek, you tried to kill me. I, I did. <laughs> this is a true statement. How big is here? Uh, you take four. Okay. This time. Tell, Tell you this. what, in response, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I will incinerate the nickel bolus planeswalker. Oh, okay. Phew. I, I, I didn't know what was coming out. I thought I, thought I was taking a lot more than four. <laughs> oh, here comes the teamer battle rage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got to get one of those for this deck. That's a really good idea. Uh, I'm done, Derek, whenever you're ready. Okay. I will untap and draw. Okay. I'm going to play a Lava Claw Reaches tapped. So we're going to have some black mana eventually. And then I'll go one, two three and then ancient tomb four five taking uh, two more damage and i will recast the scorpion god uh and that's going to be my turn okay uh, on top upkeep when i draw a card each opponent will discard a card because of the eldest reborn oh uh, expansion explosion sword of vengeance <sighs> karn's bastion Feels bad. Yeah, I'm gonna get an attack for this. But I'm doing it anyway. I'm gonna play Bolsa Oh! <laughs> wow, 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 that is a that is a card. <laughs> Pass the turn. I've heard that card is powerful. So I have already have I already played a land this turn? No, we're on turn six. I'm playing. See, you're all on board of this whole. Nothing. Life doesn't Ooh. matter. I am, uh, but I I then uh, have to pass the turn after playing playing a card off the top. All right. So, uh, artifact removal. Let's see if I got that. I don't know. We got enough red decks at the table. We should be able to deal yeah. with this. All it's going to do is kill me. I just have a lot of seven and a drops in my deck. Yeah, I'm not responsible enough to play with Bolos of Citadel because I will. <laughs> <laughs> I can cast things for free. I don't care if I lose. I can cast a bunch of spells. That's the right I mean, I would do the exact same thing, so yes. Um, I'm done there. I'll pass the turn. Land, land, land. Yes! Yes! Hey! Uh, I I have one card left in my hand. I kind of want to get rid of it so Bolas don't make me discard it. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. You saw it here first. That's a Dreamstone Hedron. All right. <laughs> hey. Pass. Yeah, oh I did God. forget about the uh, Bolas making us discard what's in our hand. That's gonna be tough. Uh, we'll figure that out when we get there. True. I'm hellbent now, so. <laughs> <laughs> now it doesn't matter to you. Um, we're going to play this Demir Signet. And then go three, four, five, and play Crown. Yeah. Uh... We're going to send Crom at uh, Brian and Nickel Bull, or not Nickel Bullis, um, Sengir the Dark Baron at Fitz. I take you're four. Welcome. You're welcome, Derek. Thank you. Hey, I also had to add my commander damage room. I was, I was actually ready to click and, and lower it, so I do appreciate it. <laughs> uh, whenever you're ready, Derek. Okay, so I will untap. Let's see, I need a land. That, that's not, it is not the land. Uh, let's go ahead and one, two, and three. 
for a Dusk Urchins. Okay. Whenever it attacks or blocks, it gets a minus one counter. And then... Let's move to combat. Yeah, I do feel like I do need to swing over towards Fitz with the Bolas of Citadel. Take six more commander damage and go to 12. Okay. Um, and that is all I have to do. Okay. Uh, on top, when I draw, it'll trigger the Eldest Reborn. I get to put a creature Planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield. I'm just going to pick my Nick Bolas. You don't want to Plague Mirror? No. <laughs> okay. Close I, I call, my right? on Nick Bolas. <laughs> Plague Mirror's been pretty ball in this game. I mean, yeah. <laughs> On a plus at Nicobolus, I draw a card. You guys all exile a card from your hand or a permanent you control. Oh, see. Damn. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to get rid of Backdraft Hellkite. I'm going to have to exile Necro Skitter. That's right, you will. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a sad it's a sad day. Oh, I got Necro Skitter and Necro P confused. Oh, My yeah. Apologies. Necro Skitter is the one that steals creatures with minus one counters. But um, there's yeah. not really many creatures going around, so I feel like it's not going to do too much for me. I'm going to pay five life to play God uh, Eternal Bond Oh Yeah. That is good. That, that, that seems pretty good. Just enter the battlefield. You can what? You can sack any number of permanents to draw cards. Yeah. Who needs permanents? Just sack them all. No, I, I me, I need permanents. I'll play. I will play my land for turn though. Be a swamp. I am at the top corner library. Let's see. Decisions, decisions. How, your commander costs five, six now. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's died once. Oh. I will replay my commander. So we all have to discard a card? Yes. <sighs> uh, I'm going to discard a card I drew last turn. I'm going to discard Tain and Strike. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'll discard right. Cruel Ultimatum. I will pass the turn. Cruel Ultimatum. Cruel Ultimate. Twist of Fate, Kyle. Bolusy card. Yeah, it's got him right hey, there. Hey, still covered mountain. Three, four, five, six. That's Lou Boo all up in here. Lou Boo is ready. It's Lou Boo! <laughs> Nobody's ready. <laughs> um, I think Lou Boo is outclassed by literally everything on the board. <laughs> I don't know. He's got, nope, nothing else is on a horse. So, oh, that is that's got that that is, going on. That is correct. So I'll tell you what, uh, we will um, hit Nicol Bolas the Walker. Yeah, for four. He'll go to one loyalty. And I will pass the turn. I, I forgot okay. when I heard this recently. I, I So I'm definitely stealing this from someone, but I don't remember who. I do want to know what all of the other, like, Magic cards on horses that don't have horsemanship, are they that unskilled that they didn't earn it? Or was it just like a... Because <laughs> what's the part... There's a partner that's on a horse. Um, uh, so that... Cigar Condo. Yeah. Yeah, he has flanking. Oh, okay. Well, he's so... like okay on a horse. <laughs> I guess that was the Western version of horsemanship. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, three mana, five cards. Let's go on a boat ride. Hey. Yeah. 
Seems Anyone really loves cool. a good boat ride. Free. Um, play Scavenger Grounds as my land for the turn. Play it as Malcolm Key died. Um, and then it's time to enter combat. And I could be smart and attack planeswalkers and work on things, or I could just body Derek for a 10. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just I was about to ask a dumb question. I was like, are they all in the air? Well, <laughs> that would be the point of the deck. Um, yeah, you know what? Let me look at your what's the power toughness on uh, Malcolm? Uh, it's a 2-2. Two, 2-2? Two. Two, two. In response, I will... I mean, this is just costing me more life, but whatever. I'm going to tap <laughs> 4 with Ancient Tomb taking 2, and I'm going to put a minus 1 counter on Malcolm. Sure. And then I will take <laughs> another 9. I will oh. find my dice bag. There it is. Okay. I will make a treasure from <laughs> Malcolm. And... Pass the turn to Derek. Aaron, that should be the altar on Lubu. It's the old spice guy on a horse. See, I I played so much Dynasty Warriors with my brother that all I hear is like, because there's a fight where you where Lubu comes out, and if you're not good at the game, Lubu just wrecks you. Because mm. he's really, really strong. And I just hear the guys just yelling, it's 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 Lubu. <laughs> and it's the the bad Dynasty Warrior PlayStation graphics. I'm gonna just further my life ending decisions. I'm gonna tap Ancient Tomb to play a Contagion class, so I get to put. Doesn't that proliferate? Two, uh, tap four to pro or pay four and tap it to proliferate. Great. Um, I get but I bodied you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get to put a minus one counter on a creature. Um, I'm going to throw that minus one counter on to Nikki B, the creature. He is a little smaller. And then I am going to go to combat. So Nikki B is a 2-2, two, two, and then the God Eternal is how big? Uh, uh, Bulls is a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, three, three, God Eternal Bontu is a 5-6. Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and By the way, I have all kinds of jelly for your Bantu. I love that Bantu. It is Thank very you. pretty. I, I like it. It, it. I didn't like them that much at first. They've grown on me. I'm going to swing Dusk Urchins at Nickel Bolus. It's a 4-3, but everything does have Wither. Okay. I will block it with my Nickel Bolus. Okay. So it's a 3-3. Three, three, so this gets three minus one counters. So I'll draw three cards, and then Nickel Bolus dies. Yeah, and I draw, and you'll a draw a card. So I draw four cards. Okay. Ooh, that actually might be helpful. I'm going to play Care Keep. Sure. And then I will... Was it one, two, three, four? Yeah, I'm going to keep some mana up, and I will pass the turn. I got my cobalt ready too, ready to go. There you go. It doesn't fly, which is a flaw in the cobalts. It has a uh, sweet pajamas. Well, you would think there would be something like a cobalt tosser or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Co the cobalt, cobalt bombardment. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be in the next set. Cobalt bombardment would be wonderful. Then I'm deal zero damage. Life. Sacrifice a creature, deal zero, zero damage to any target. He would still uh, see all kinds of play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. that. Or, I love the fact, just sacrifice a creature. Yeah. Sorry, Fitz. We're talking over you. Uh, I played Demir Signet. I will uh, activate Nicobolus, have you guys all discard a card or exile a permanent, and I draw a card. Uh, I will get rid of my, De my Demir Signet, because there can only be one. And then I'll discard a... Grasping Dunes. Snow Covered Mountain. I'll play a land for turn.
What's everyone's cards in hand? Uh, Zero. Uh, two. Also two. Also two. Nice. Oh, uh, actually, th uh, yeah, no, yeah, two. Oh, uh, Sengir the Dark Baron gets four plus one plus one counters. Oh, Scuff died. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Four. Oh, because he gets, he gets plus one. Let me just, I could probably just look at it. That's probably easier. Let me see. He gets two per. Two per. Okay, cool, cool. It's way better than the plus two plus two counter. I don't know about that. I love <laughs> me a plus two plus two counter. <laughs> I'm going to pay for life. I'll cast Mastermind's Acquisition. I'm going sure. to my library for a card. Ooh. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it probably has Nicol Bolas. Either that or, steal, or steals a horse. Or steals <laughs> 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 <Remove Yeah>. horsemanship <laughs> from target creature. I know there's a goat napper. I've never seen horse napper. <laughs> I love Lubu because if um, it's one of the only creatures that I know of that is both a soldier and a warrior at the same time. I did not know that. Soldier warrior. A human soldier warrior. He couldn't decide which one he wanted. It just, maybe a little yeah. other thing. What is, like the, what is the real difference between a soldier and a warrior? That's actually a good question. Um. My impression through magic has always been a soldier is more regimented. A warrior is just like uh, essentially a Klingon. Here's this axe, go. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to find this card. Okay. But both of those interactions matter for this deck. I, well, I, I, I won't draw it, but... Because it is a warrior and a soldier. There's a free equip warrior equipment and a soldier. Yeah, the... The Obsidian Battle Axe. Yeah, the Morning Tide stuff. It's beautiful. Yeah, and Veterans. Armament. Armaments. Okay. Uh, it, Almost yeah. got there. Yeah. For five, I'm going to cast uh, Slay the Bolus. Uh oh. Uh, I've cast more than two spells this turn, so I'll trade a Krom and you'll uh, draw a card draw. Yay. I'm going to steal the Sing Hair, the Dark Bear. He's all yours. And he's an 8 8. Yep. Uh, I untap it and give it haste. I'll swing it at Derek for eight. Interesting. So I have, think I have no choice here. Because if I kill Kyle, it just disappears, correct? Maybe. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I think... Yeah, I have nothing in the air, and I'm basically dead otherwise. Um... Wait, Kyle, I have a question for you. Yep. I will give you an entire, like, I'm not going to kill you on this turn. I would think about it the following turn. Will you just swing at Fitz instead of killing me next turn if I don't kill you? Well, he won't have Singha anymore. It's a slot haze, but you won't have this big one. I have to sacrifice Singha. Yeah. Uh, the Slave of Bulls kills it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you still have, because he's at 13. You have four, five, five power. Five power. Was that a yes? I didn't say anything. I, I ignored the question. Oh. <laughs> now I just feel, okay, well, I guess, I guess, I guess ignoring it is an answer. So, uh, yeah. Then I'll go ahead and I'll tap four and proliferate with Contagion Clasp. I'll proliferate the minus one counter on Malcolm, and I'll also do it to your poison counter. Uh, I will respond and go for the throat, your commander. And then, To yeah. fart as I leave the room. Yeah. That's the only way to do it. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, my commander will die, and then you will die, and that will disappear. King hair will cease to be. Oh, I really did not anticipate taking eight poison. Hey, to be fair, no. I didn't either. It was great. <laughs> uh, second main, I'll play Visage of Bolus. When enters the battlefield, I search my uh, library or graveyard for a card called Nicobolus the Deceiver. Oh. 
Oh, Aaron dropped hat. some knowledge in the chat as well, saying, yeah, basically that warriors are more black and red, that it's more of like a way of life and more individual, individual, individualistic than it is to be a soldier, which is more team-driven and everything. Makes sense. Interesting. Yeah, I guess that's tricky. Yeah, soldiers are mostly white, right, I feel like. Yep. Uh, there's some, like, Boros ones and stuff. Oh, man. Derek, you uh, were so dead. Second main, <laughs> or end of turn, discard two amps. What do you mean I was so dead? I'm still very dead, sir. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna surge to victory with two Crete or with oh a couple God. of flyers and treasure crews. Oof. Oh yeah, that'd be sweet. Uh, it's okay. We'll, we'll go ahead and stack the commander spear to draw cars. Ooh, that killing the commander was very big because I was, I thought, I think we might have had a sh chance to take outfits, but. Um, I don't think I can get it haste, which is a slight problem. I don't know, not my problem. You killed me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be fair. Five the bolus walker. Okay, that's don't die first. again. And I'll be done. Okay, I'm gonna get him, Fitz. I'm trying. <laughs> I really am. Yeah. I'll do it for you, Kyle. I'll get your revenge. Draw. At least kill Derek. Oh. <laughs> he, he's close. He's not far off now. I am not far off. Um, I'm going to play a, a Dragon Skull Summit. Um, Because I like to live dangerous. So we, we are going to tap, tap this Ancient Tomb. Cause oh, yeah. I'm consistent, <laughs> if anything. I will consistently make poor decisions. And I'll replay the Scorpion God. Um, and then... I have a, I have a response. Okay. I would like to pat negation the scorpion god. Uh, I applaud that decision. Well, I would not like it. You, uh, okay, yeah. In response, I say you are a meanie pants, and I let it go to the to the graveyard. Or I send it to the command zone because it's not only countered, but I don't get to bring it back to hand, which is very sad. Um, and if that's the case, I'll just tap two for a stigma lasher. Um, just to get that out, and then I have one, two, three, four, five mana, and I will pass the turn. Okay, untap, upkeep. I will pay five, five mana for path negation, and I don't lose the game. Good choice. I don't know. Question, questionable decision. There, we'll see how it, <laughs> we'll see how it works out. For you. Uh, look how kind of I Stigma Lasher's not developing properly. Oh, sorry. Let me. It's a uh, two-two wither, and when it deals damage to a player, that player can't gain life for the rest of the game. That's right. Uh, I knew it had some kind of crazy lasting effect. Mm. Yeah, it's very, very good turn two if you're playing against the life gain deck. That would be wonderful. Only six mana. Don't want to keep killing myself. <laughs> I guess that's the only way now. to counter bullets to Citadel is to get your life total down low enough. It's down there, that's for sure. I'm not feeling super comfortable. I will play uh, the Scarab God. Hey. Seems really good. I will swing a five, six menace at Derek. Um, in response, I'll tap two and care keep to make a kobold, and I will double block. Yep. Um, and then that'll get two minus one counters. I'll pass her. Three, four. Untapping. <clears throat> now the question is what is brian's target now because his target has always been the walkers yes. and now the walkers are gone <laughs> <laughs> and both of his opponents are almost dead yeah, oh my god Bri Bri i did not see your life total i definitely figured somewhere in the carnage <laughs> your life total had gone down but this is a i'm gonna sacrifice the dreamstone hedron to draw three hey no, he's kind of just been hanging out. We've been putting the boots to our uh, selves. 
riding on a horse. And I died at 40 life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. I think that's a commander achievement unlocked. Yeah, that's, that is true. Hmm. Derek, we gotta come at you for five. I, I just I stare. You can't see me, but I'm just staring at you in response. Let me take that five. But it's six. <laughs> uh oh, One, two. that ancient tomb's looking real spicy now. <laughs> yeah, like three more ancient tomb taps. That's all I got left and, of me. And I am done. Okay, I'm gonna untap, draw. We'll play a swamp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Goofy. While you guys are doing this, I'm going to run my dogs outside okay. because I'm dead. Okay, sounds good. Um, I guess I six for a grief tyrant. On the roll side. What does that do? Um, it comes into play with four minus one counters. Um, and then when it dies, I can put a minus one counter on target creature for each minus one counter on it. That's sweet art. It does look very cool. Very creepy looking. So I will put four minus one counters on it. Um, and then I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw a card. That scarab guy is a uh, scurry right now. I don't know how to. Oh yeah, scry. Whatever. I I do the card. I screw scryed one. You guys all lost one life. You have a zombie. Oh, the zombie yeah. god. Oh no. My my uh bantu. Yep. I'll play my land for turn. It's gonna be a card off common library. It is yield of the dead. Oh. That seems good. Very good. Does you get a zombo or do you not have seven? I uh yeah I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have exactly seven. Do I have a zombie nearby? No. Pretty common token. Come on. Only a few zombies away from death on your upkeep. Eh, you're fine. You also only have one creature. Maybe. Yeah, we're, people didn't play creatures this game, which didn't make Sengir very big. There's a zombie. How do I deal with this? This Lu Bu, though. It's, it's bad news for me. Five mana. I'm gonna cast Fraying Omnipotence. So each player loses half their life, discards half the cards in their hand, and sacrifices half the creatures they control. Round up each time. Oh no. Oh, so I go down to that. There's seventeen. I lose seven and go to six. I lose three and go to two. Um. I'm dead. All right, go to twenty. And then you said we sacrifice our half our creatures rounded up. Yeah. Oh. So grief tyrant's gonna get sacked. Um. I'm gonna put the four minus one counters onto Bontu to kill him. Well, that'd be after you have to pick the target Actually, after I, what's I resolve up? mine. I have to resolve my um. Oh, it, yeah. My sacrifice. That's true. Does your sacrifice get resolved uh, first? I, I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. And then you'll target whatever's left over, which yeah. is the scare of God. So, yeah, we'll leave. Leave the buggy, man. I think that'll give you a better chance, Brian, because at least it doesn't have a Menace. Because the Menace is going to be tough to deal with. Yes, it will. Shimmer to fail gets discarded. Yeah, does anyone have any haste creatures in their graveyard? Haste? Yeah. No. Uh, no. Creatures? What? With a shot. I have a plague mirror. That doesn't really help. 
six. God. <sighs> the Grief Tyrant's a cool interaction with Scarab God, because that could just be instant speed removal, because it is a 4 4 that enters with four minus one counters that you immediately throw into something else. Um. Hmm. Excuse me while well, I readjust I'm, my camera. The box I'm gonna down. I'm gonna swing one at Derek. Okay. Pa. I really want to kill him. But I'm worried <laughs> about dying. I'm worried about dying to Luvu. I don't have the mana to recast Luvu. That's that's fair. Um yeah, I guess I'll just I'll go for it. Three. I'm gonna cast a Torment of Hailfire or X equals six. Oh no. Is that game? I think Brian will live. In response, I'm going to tap my ancient tomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't come back from that even. I mean, oh, you no oh, yeah, you take five of them, so that's 15 damage. You go to two. Yeah. Yeah. I have. Can't come back from that. Good game. Good Nick game. Bolas. Breaking news Nickel Bolas is, I guess, kind of a doucher. I didn't pay attention to the ma magic story, <laughs> but I guess he's kind of a bully. Taking over is. planes, enslaving gods and such. It beats that way sometimes. No, that deck is awesome. I really like how dedicated to the flavor it is. I'm, I'm a fan. Love, love the flavor. 